Hi guys, it's time for weekly wax melts number eight. I'm sorry I'm a week late. Actually, I think I might be two weeks behind and I apologize for that. Sometimes life just gets in the way. My husband's an over the road truck driver, so um, he's only home on the weekend. So anything that needs to be taken care of around the house, both inside and out, is up to me, whether it's mowing grass or whatever. Uh, my daughter was moving, so I was trying to help her a little bit with that and babysitting. And we've got horses that, you know, need to be ridden. And so I apologize again. I am going to try to do better. But, you know, once in a while I might be a little bit late on these reviews. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started right away and just jump right into it. Um, I melted Whistling Dixie, or Whistling Dixie. Now, I gave this four stars. Um, it's a very nice scent, but even though I like really sweet scents, this one was almost cloyingly sweet. I did write down the scent description because there are so many notes on this that I couldn't remember them all, but I can tell you that it's musky and um, there's some heavy vanilla in here and amber. Uh, the other notes include red currant, dewberry, cotton flower, ylang petals, lily of the valley, white amber, vanilla or and vanilla orchid. Again, I really do like this scent, but it was almost too sweet for me. I do think though that this is is a nice scent for um, like in the bathroom, and. I don't know what summer nights smell like in the south, but I could almost imagine that this is probably close to what those nights smell like because of the um, sweetness from the different flower notes and that type of thing. I also melted rosemary mint. Now, I like this one better cold than I did warm. I gave it three stars. I thought it was going to be one that I really liked because I do like the earthiness. But when it went in the warmer, that earthiness became too earthy and the rosemary actually almost started to smell unclean to me. Uh, anything, I think I've said this before, usually the, when I do a star rating, which I always do like one to five stars, and there are very few scents that I've ever rated lower than like three and a half, anything um, four and a half stars or higher is something that I would generally reorder. Uh, four, four and three quarters to five stars obviously would be repurchases for me. Butt Naked is one of those. I give this five stars. Um, this is just a really fun scent and not just because of the name. It's just, it's woodsy and citrusy and clean and refreshing all at once. And this is just a scent that I think a lot of people would really enjoy. And I think this one works in every room in the house. Granny's Pie Crust is another that I give five stars. It's a huge favorite of everybody on the Addicts page, or most people on the Addicts page. If you're a bakery lover, chances are you're going to love Granny's Pie Crust. Now, when Victoria said that she was coming out with this scent, and none of us knew at that time, um, you know, what it smelled like. We only knew the name. I was expecting more of the typical pie crust scent. And by typical, I was thinking, you know, more like the pie crust that my grandma used to bake, which were made of um, flour and eggs and lard and, you know, whatever. Uh, the typical white pie crust that you would find like in an apple pie. This is not that pie crust. This to me smells like the pie crust that's um, in like a jello no-bake cheesecake if you've ever bought one of those um, boxes, you know, the kits. That's what this smells like. It's like sweet graham cracker yumminess. I love this. It's not a strong thrower though. That one, um, it's medium throw. Fresh laundry. I give four and three quarter stars. This was a surprise to me when I first got this scent, which was probably at least a year ago, possibly longer. I didn't like it. There was this almost too sharp um, soapy note in there. But once it went in the warmer after that amount of cure time, this became wonderful. It's sweet and... Um, 
I don't know. It's it's just very, very pretty and smells very, very much um, like a really lovely dryer sheet scent. So I, I like this one a lot, but it does need a lot of extra cure time, at least for me. Angelina. Now this is one... I only used a quarter of a scent shot. Actually, I didn't even use a full quarter because I melted this in my bedroom. And my bedroom's a fairly large room, but I didn't need any more than a quarter of a um, of a scent shot in there. I give the this is another I give four and a quarter stars. Will definitely be a repurchase. When I smell it cold, it almost smells a little bit like. Um, and please don't let this put you off. It smells a little bit like an insect repellent to me. But when it went in the warmer, it's sweet and soft and extremely feminine. And this, again, like I said, it's just a perfect bedroom scent in my opinion. And lastly, mango sorbet, which everybody is familiar with or just about everybody is familiar with. If you've been on the page for a long uh for any length of time. You've heard this talked about a lot. I don't think I've ever heard anybody say they don't like this scent. I give it five stars. Um, as you can see, again, for those who are new to the page, I always scoop. I rarely um, burn my candles. There are, look at the oils on the top of this. And actually, there are so many oils in there that the top of my lid has started to rust um, cause from being so wet. Anyway, mango sorbet, five stars, hands down. This is a scent that I have loved from day one, will always love. It smells just as good when it goes in the warmer as it does cold. Um, the scent really doesn't change a whole lot. It's a strong thrower and one of the most beautifully juicy, yummy scents that I think Victoria carries. So, um... That's it for this week. Again, I will try to do better next week. I don't think there's a whole lot on the agenda, but that could change at any given moment. Uh, in response to Amy Kramer, who asked if I would consider doing a fall favorites review, I will also try to get that uploaded tonight. Try being the operative word. Um, and until next week, guys, I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.